Hi, I'm Dr. Charlotte Resnick, and today we're going to be talking about using play as a tool to help prepare kids for major milestones. Hi, Blythe. Hi. Who's with you? This is my four-year-old daughter, Shia. Can you say hi, please? Hi, Dr. Shia. Hi, Shia. I love your hair, and I see you have these great Lego Duplo bricks. So let's talk about preparing Shia for milestones. I understand since she's four, she's probably in her first year of preschool. Yes, she did uh, start her first year of preschool this year, mm -hmm. and it was a difficult transition at the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a new transition coming up, which is having friends over for a play date, and I was hoping you could give us some tips on how to make that transition smoother. Yes, I'm so glad to hear that you're having the first play date at your house, because that'll make it easier, not so much of a shock. And you could use role playing, which is so much fun, because at her age, let's, let's pretend is perfect. So you and she can pretend you're greeting the guests at the door, you're going to be the hostesses, and you want to show how gracious you want to be. You can even practice with Lego Duplo sets to put a fun spin on traditional role play by building scenes and acting out different situations with the minifigures. And the more she practices, and you can go back and forth, the more confident she's going to get. That's the beauty and joy of role play. That's such a great idea, and I think that that will definitely help make this next transition be a lot easier. <laughs> My pleasure, Blythe. I'm so glad we had a little bit of time to talk about role play and how to use it for help preparing Shia for her major milestones. And thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.